I'm Charlotte and this is Tired Mama Tries to Read. I've come outside again because it's beautiful um, and I've come to talk about these. These were my just a couple of extra books on top of the book haul books. <laughs> Not sure if anybody could read this many books in one month, let alone if you work and you have a child and just are generally just a bit rubbish when it comes to reading sometimes. So I'll just delve right in. First of all, I've got Maggie O'Farrell's I Am, I Am, I Am, uh, the title taken from Sylvia Plath's poem. And this is 17 Brushes with Death. So I hadn't heard of this book until I saw it. I have got a Maggie O'Farrell, but I've not read it. So um, I don't know what it was that drew this, me to this book, but I'm excited to get into that. In fact, I, I don't know why I'm fibbing. I'm almost at the end. <laughs> I'm going to film so many videos today, you'll be able to tell that I'm lying about the ones I have and haven't read. So I might as well just be honest, I have almost finished this one. It's really good. Um, next one is England, Poems from a School, gorgeous cover. This is from a real bookshop. And this one is um, from a school called Oxford Spires Academy, which has 30 languages and one special focus, poetry. So it's a, it's a sort of award-winning school. Um, from the look of the people contributing, they range from about 12 to about 18. Uh, there's amazing titles of poetry in here. Um, that was a tractor and there'll be a few of those while I'm filming. So things like How to Forget Your Mother's Language, War Memoir, um, What Are My Unnumbered Days, My Dad Cooks the World and His Past in a Steam Cooker. I mean, I don't you don't need any more information than that it's going to be amazing this one was this is any man by amber tamblin and i saw this a celebrity recommended this but i can't remember which celebrity and it's because amber tamblin was a friend but when i looked into it it looked like a really interesting provocative novel it's about um it says amber tamblin blends genres of poetry and prose with elements of suspense to give shape to the shocking narratives of victims of sexual violence and maps the destructive ways in which society perpetuates rape culture. So the person it focuses around is the violent serial rapist Maud and she hunts for men in bars and online. The place doesn't matter, neither does the man. The victims must then grapple with the aftermath of their assault. So you've got the whole, you know, it's turning gender on its head there with um, the rapist being female. Obviously that sounds like quite an intense read, um, but I think it is gonna be well worth it. So that was the other one. I got this tiny, tiny book, um, Hannah Arendt, and this is um, The Origins of Totalitarianism. Gorgeous cover. Um, yeah, I read Sharp, which I reviewed in my last video, and Hannah Arendt was one of the the people in Sharp. So my plan is that when I when I get paid, I'm going to get a Mary McCarthy who writes. Well, I remember the cover when I worked in book selling saying something like the original Sex and the City. So I don't think it's as light as that, but um, it's obviously not as heavy as this. But Mary McCarthy and Hannah Arendt were friends, and I kind of feel it would be cool to read them side by side. And Mary McCarthy wrote some amazing letters to Hannah Arendt that initiated their friendship, saying how much she'd loved this book and she'd read it in um, supermarket queues and while she was putting her uh, the dinner on for her children and stuff like that. So I don't know, that drew it to me. I did not realise it was going to be this massive. But um, I, I don't... I, I, I'll have to set aside a good bit of time for that. Um, I got then, I went to um, St. Fagans, which is like an outdoor Welsh museum. It's really cool. And I got a couple of Welsh language books to improve my Welsh because I don't use it very much day to day. Um, it's my second language, so, it, you know, I'm, I, I wouldn't class myself as fluent, but I need to brush up. So I got Kovya and Hovya, which is um, uh, Remember and Forget, and that's by Alan Maley. Um, oh, that was originally by Alan Maley. Second oh, I, d I think the dictionary bit is by Ellen Meek. Oh, I can't work that out. What's a Thasiad? Mm, I'll have to look that up. Um, and this is a Shethir by Helen Naylor, um, which means the letter. So they're just, they're really cool. They've got um, little uh, things on the back to say how advanced they are. And then underneath they've got the words to help you. So I bet you get that in all languages. But for me, Welsh is the one I need to brush up on. Um, then I've got this cool one, which is All That Is Wales by Emwyn Thomas. 
and this is a collection of essays. Um, Wynne was uh, one of my lecturers when I was in uni and I am obsessed with Welsh writing in English, which is basically, if you don't know, it's, it's just normal fiction, non-fiction, mostly fiction writing um, that's written in English, but it's by Welsh writers who are trying to talk about how it is to be Welsh when you're writing in the language of, well, the coloniser, if you want to put it like that, but let's not let's not pretend Wales was colonised in the same way everywhere else was. But it's a really interesting topic. I love the books. There's some great hidden gems. And this is a collection of Wynne's essays about those amazing writers. So that's cool. I got another collection of poetry. <laughs> um, when, I, when I came home with this, I got this from a real bookshop. I said to my husband, this collection is about my favourite thing. Like, if you can imagine someone writing a collection of poetry for me on one theme, what would it be? And he was like, sheep? <laughs> it's not sheep. <laughs> but that is why I married him, things like that. Uh, he was very close. Um, his second guess was right. He went, books, in exactly that tone. And I went, yes, it's a poetry about bookshops. So um, off the shelf, a celebration of bookshops in verse. And hopefully the sun will catch that and show how nice and pretty it is. It's edited by Caroline Duffy, who I love. And I have actually already read this one again. Yeah, I'm not going to fib. I've already gone through it. And then the last one you've probably seen everywhere on your Instagrams and on BookTube. This is uh, There There by Tommy Orange. Um, beautiful cover. Slightly different cover to the one um, that they've got in America. I think the feathers go across like this. I love this version though. Super cool. And this is his first novel. He is a writer who is an enrolled member of the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes of Oklahoma. And um, yeah, I've already read it, so I can do a bigger review of this in the next video. So I won't, I won't bother telling you anything about it apart from the fact that it's amazing. Um, it's got lots of different lives that you go into within this um, group of people who are sort of connected to each other, and it's all building up to this, this big event. So yeah. There we go. Those are my naughty new buys. And I'm going to stop there because I've got a really small amount of time before my child comes home. So I will do my review video next.